Welcome back to another video where we're exploring single sign-on with Duo. And in our previous video, we covered single sign-on and integration with Duo single sign-on with Microsoft 365. So we're going to carry on from that previous session. And we're now going to look at how we actually enable passwordless for Duo SSO. So if you've not watched the previous video, please do head back to my YouTube channel and look for the Duo SSO integration with Microsoft 365 because that will give you a good overview of sort of the steps that we went through to get to where we are now and uh, will allow you to kind of proceed on with this video. For those that have already watched, we are going to pick up from the last session as i said you can see we've already got the single sign-on um, configured within duo and we also have our microsoft 365 configured appropriately as well and just to double check that we'll just quickly go to office.com and then we'll sign in as we did in our previous video And this time you can see I've had to put in my username, I've had to put in uh, my password and now it's asking me for um, my security key in order to continue here. So I'm just going to cancel off that a minute and show you kind of how we got to uh, that stage now. So if we just go to our Duo environment and we go to our applications and then we select the... Office 365 application that we protected. And we just take a look at the application policy we've got configured here. If we go down to authentication methods, we can see the only available option we have is to use WebAuthn. And uh, that's going to, that's why we got that. Uh, once we put in the password, we were then asked to complete that uh, two factor authentication with our. Um, security key. In this case, what we're using is we're using uh, YubiKey. Um, so the particular model I have uh, here with me at the moment is a YubiKey 5C NFC, and it's um, a USB-C one. And um, basically, you can see that from what I just showed you that we still have to enter our username and we still have to enter our password before we can actually touch the the YubiKey in order to uh, log in. So what we'll do is we'll just go through that process so that I can show you it. So again, we put in our username and password and now it's asking me to uh, basically touch my YubiKey in order to uh, continue to log in. So I'll just do that now. And there you go. So you can see it's successful and I can now log into my Office 365 environment. So that's all well and good, but the whole point of passwordless is to obviously not have to enter any sort of password. So it kind of defeats the objective in, in kind of what we just did there, uh, where we still had to enter username and password and then use the um, Yubi key. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we uh, actually enable passwordless now. So if we just go back to our Duo admin panel, and if we go down to single sign-on, we have a, uh, a sub option here, if you like, called passwordless. So we just want to click on that with our single sign-on that's already configured. And now we get to this stage. So it's basically telling us that uh, it gives a little bit of information about passwordless and it's basically going to allow users to access single sign on applications without entering a password. So this is great for anything that's tied into your uh, duo single sign on because we can make use of passwordless. So we can see there's a few steps here before we can actually get passwordless functioning how we want it to function. In our previous video, we configured single sign-on, so that's done. We also enabled our on-premise Active Directory 
uh, and tied that in with our Microsoft 365 tenant as our identity provider. And in terms of authentication proxy, we're also using uh, the, a correct version um, 5.3 or higher. And so that option there is also checked. So before we need to, before we can continue with password list, we just need to re read and agree to the product notice and activate the password list. So to do that, we need to click here and then activate password list. and then enable passwordless authentication methods in the policy. That's all there is to it. You know, really straightforward, really easy to get set up. And you can see uh, when you click on policies here, it's taken me now to uh, all the policies that I've got configured. Um, and as I say, if we just go back to our Office 365 application here, and we just modify the policy that we've got, we go down to our authentication methods here. We now have, so we, we already got the web auth in uh, selected as I uh, showed you already, but now we have an additional section here, um, which is why we didn't have that little green check, but uh, we, we've got an additional section here, which is passwordless authentication methods. And this allows us to basically use um, passwordless uh, for uh, SSO applications that we, we are protecting. So we have a few options here. So we can use um, platform authenticators. So they're things such as, um, as it says there, Face ID, uh, Touch ID or Windows Hello if you're using Windows. Uh, we can use roaming authenticators, which is what we're going to be using. So with the YubiKey, and we can also use uh, Duo Push uh, as a kind of passwordless uh, method now as well. So we're just going to now select roaming authenticators here, and then we're going to save that policy. And then we'll just scroll to the bottom there and we'll just save that. And now um, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and again, log back into uh, our Office 365 environment and just see what the difference is now. So if I just open another Office 365 and I sign in now, and again, I enter my password. Use my security key. And now you can see we now get another option, which is asking whether we're tired of passwords. And yes, we're tired of entering passwords for many different sites, but more importantly, you know, passwords add that additional security risk. So we really want to try and get rid of passwords where we can. Um, and now it's basically saying it's, you know, we've pretty much enabled the, the use of security keys to log in without a uh, password. So again, as you saw there, we did our username, we did our password, we touched the UB key, and now we got to this stage. So what we'll do is we'll continue because we do want to make use of passwordless. Use my security key, continue. Again, I'm going to uh, press OK and uh, touch my security key here. I now need to create a um, pin for my security key. So I'm just going to give this a pin. And now I'm going to touch my security key. Okay, so now to kind of finish that setup, now that I've touched the YubiKey, it's saying that we need to use this device one more time. So we'll just press continue here. We'll press OK there. And our security key that we created. I'm going to touch the security key now. And now you can see that the setup is completed. So we shouldn't be asked for passwords anymore the next time we log in with single sign-on. So we'll press done with that. And as usual, we'll proceed to the Office 365 environment. So what I'll do now is I'll just sign out and we'll see what the difference is now in behavior. So we'll just type in office.com again. 
we'll sign in again. We're going to use our demo email address. Press next. And now you can see we don't require a password to log in. It's just going to ask us now for our pin. We'll enter the pin and then we'll touch that security key. And there you go, successful. And we have logged into our Office 365. And that's basically how we can actually make use of passwordless with Duo and get rid of the use of passwords when we're using single sign on with Duo. Now, if we just go to lastly, our Duo admin panel and we go down to reports. In the logs now, we can see that we was previously using WebAuth N to um, authenticate as an authentication method. And we can see that the last authentication attempt is actually now saying that we're using a roaming authenticator and we used a password list to gain access. So now we also have the ability to uh, see the difference in the usage in terms of the authentication methods that are being used by each user. So that's passwordless with Microsoft 365 when using Duo single sign on. Thank you for watching. I will bring more videos in relation to Duo around the policy sets and how Duo can further benefit your environment. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video if you found it useful. And if you do have any questions, please drop them in the comments section. Thank you.